Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vito Studio and today a quick video to share with you a new background we've added to our free starter pack. This custom background allows you to load any image, icon, shape or text you want to create a unique background for your videos. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, so you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You get the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file and the fonts. Please make sure to install all the fonts, otherwise the title will not work. So select all the fonts, double click on them to start the installation process. If that's your first time installing the pack. If that's just an update, no need to reinstall the font. Then you can go over to the TRFX file, then double click on the TRFX file and just select overwrite if that's just an update that you're making to the pack and otherwise it will offer you to install if that's the first time you're installing it select either one of those then once in davinci resolve you can go over to effect titles video to studio and then here you will find the free starter pack we have a background section you can then take it and drag it here to the timeline so now let's go quickly through what you can do with that background so basically you can extend it and reduce it as you want like any other background it is not animated by default there is no animation that's just allowing you to display here a static background but you do have uh, the possibility to animate anything that you want here with some keyframes so we're going to go into some slightly more advanced stuff later on in this video but first off here as you can see we can choose between either having an image or a text you can toggle between those two to have that infinity wall that can allow you to create patterns. So right now, for example, if we select text, we can go down in text and we can replace that with whatever text we want and then increase the size of that text. So we can imagine using, for example, just O as a shape, for example, that's one way to go about it. Or you can use just like a single number or anything you want to create that infinite wall. But we'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, we're just gonna leave it as a logo and I'm gonna show you what you can do. So this is the overall level of the background. We also have here the mask width, mask height, soft edge, and corner radius. This gives you control over the vignetting. So right now, if you remove the corner radius, we don't have any vignetting, then we can play around the soft edge to have a strong vignette with the border, or we can just leave the soft edge as is and we get something that is softer. We can play around here with the height and the width to adjust the focus of that vignette. And then we have the overall position and size. So we have the inner size of the logo, so we can reduce that inside it. And we also have the global size. So here we could imagine, for example, zooming out of uh, that logo. We can put a keyframe here and then move a few frames forward and we can go back to the default value here and that could be like an animation where we are scaling out from that logo into that infinity wall with all the logo. That can be one use cases, for example. We also have the position of the logo inside of its boundaries, and we have the position of the entire wall. So same here, we can use that to create an animation. For example, here I um, can put uh, a keyframe on the position and then we're gonna just move that position to the left or the right. And now when we're playing it, as you can see, we get a constant animation of everything moving to the right. So that's how you can use it to create animated background. So right now we're using it with the Video Studio logo, but you can load any logo or images you want. For example, here, if we instead select that Sakura icon, we can just bring that in. And now we have a floor background with that pattern that is moving. With the level, if we want to have it dim that way, we can leave it. Or if we want it to be more overpowering, we can increase that and we will have something that is more present. We can also change the color of the background. So here by default, it's black, but we could maybe change it for white if we wish to, or we could go more towards uh, a gray color or even just pick the color here that is matching the Sakura. If you choose to, you can also remove that background completely and then you will gain a transparency. Now we can just bring any piece of footage and that can act as a watermark, for example, or that can give uh, some texture right above your footage. So here, if we go back to 12, for example, as you can see here, we can use that as an overlay right above it. If you want to make further modification to your animation, uh, I would recommend to go then over to Fusion and then you will be able to do uh, some modification here in the spline. 
or the keyframe editor. You can then select whatever element you've dropped a keyframe on uh, and make some modification to the curve. So here, for example, I can select the transform and I'm gonna click zoom to fit. We can select all our point, hit S on our keyboard and we will have like a smoother animation. So you can just play around with those. I have a full tutorial on how to use the anime curve. I will link to it in the description below if you want to get started into understanding how to do some basic animation inside of Resolve. That's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. With that background, you're really unlocking a lot of possibilities. Uh, you can modify really a bunch of stuff to create what you want. So I hope that's gonna be useful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hi. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.